Well, hey family, this is Darlene. I am working on the necklace, so I figure I would turn the camera on this time. So what I'm going to do, you guys have some really good ideas too. Miss Gwendolyn was saying um, to like put a, a accent every, every fourth beat. Um, I ran out of 16 gauge wire, so I'm going to have to go tomorrow and get some more wire. But what I'm going to do is I am going to put accents like maybe every two until I run out and only have six, I believe, just to um, give me some idea of what this necklace is going to look like. Uh, probably what it should have looked like in the beginning because you could already see it coming to life. Look. And I was trying to make it look a little bit more bolder. I'm going to have to figure something out because um, I'm getting ready to get into making two and three strand necklaces. And I'm going to try a different gauge of wire just to see how they, how they come out. And for me, if it does not feel sturdy, I just can't use the wire. When the wire just feels too thin, you know, and flimsy, eh, it just don't work for me. So that's pretty already by itself. That's gorgeous. Uh, what I'm going to have to start doing is, is putting more bloopers on here so you guys can, <laughs> y'all can see what I'm doing and then go ahead and comment on it. Because I don't get it right the first time, every time, trust me. I'll be up in here bloopering. Yeah, and see that looks good just as the bottom part with the uh, with the pendant. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and make it a one strand, a one strand pearl necklace. And we'll just put two beads. And I hope everybody is doing well. You standing and moving and grooving and your purpose. And whatever that is. And I think many times as human beings, as people, life, situations, environments, they tend to smother out our peace. And we as humans and as individuals, and regardless to if we have a family, if we're in a relationship, you know, no matter what the situation is, we need to pull away and find our perfect place of peace. No matter what that is, if that's making jewelry, if that's making candles, if that's jogging, if that's jumping on your little exercise bike. I just ordered me one. It should be delivered today. If that's, uh, you know, your little exercise bike, if that's painting, it's like whatever that is, make it a priority for you. Um, and I think we as women, we're just naturally nurturers and we tend to give ourselves many times more than we should to our family, to our husbands, um, to who, whomever the people are in our, in our lives. And we have to not get away from that, but manage that to where the time that you are giving and the quality in which you are imparting should either equal out where it equals where you get yours and they get theirs, or in some situations you may need to get more. And, and that's okay. That is absolutely okay. Because you trust and believe a dead person or a sick person can do nothing for self or the next person. So many times self has to come first. And I think, it, in fact, I know we as women we have a very bad habit of that. And sometimes we just need to get out of that, that state of madness and understand that, nope, I come first. Let me find my place of peace. And if your place of peace and your purpose is, like I said, making jewelry, making candles, doing artwork, I don't care where it is. And you find yourself in that moment doing whatever it is that you do. And time tends to fly by where you can sit down at one o'clock and you look up and it's six o'clock and you had no idea those hours went by, that's your perfect place of peace. That is God blessing you with a perfect place of peace. And not everybody has that.
So if he has blessed you with that in your life, be grateful. You know, be absolutely grateful because the scriptures say, I will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. I want that peace. I need that peace. I always want to be connected to that peace. Uh, in regardless to what is going on to, in my life, around my life, or even in my environment. Um, so let me see, two, four, six, two, four, five, and then I'll put six on this side. It's a simple necklace, but it's an elegant necklace. I mean, I, I like it so far. That's better than the knots, right? Well, I tried. I tried. I like this. Nice, simple. It looks very rich, very elegant. And then I'm going to just finish it off with, um, because I don't have any more accents. I ran out of that 16 gauge uh, wire. So all I'm going to do now is just go ahead and finish it off with the, uh, with the pearl beads. Simple, easy. Um, I haven't got a chance to answer all the comments or anything yet. And I want to thank you guys for all your comments down there. Um, just everybody, Miss Gwen, Miss Pam, Gather Moss. Gather Moss, are you a man or a woman, please? So I can call you. And what is your name? So I can call you by your name, please. Gathering Moss. And then there is uh, MC. It's like everybody. Miss Debbie. And I hate to call names sometimes because I don't want to forget, you know, forget anybody. But I want you guys to know that I do appreciate your comments. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate um, your words of encouragement, even in your emails and your comments and the Facebook group, you know, just all the way around. And then that's what it's uh, set up to be, just a, a perfect place of support. You know, a place to support your creativity. Sister, um, not sister, um, I'm thinking about the ladies at the church. I call them sister. Uh, well, y'all my sisters too. But uh, Miss Tina is getting ready for uh, shows for, I think she said October through December. She's getting ready for shows and she does some absolutely amazing uh, pieces too. She's in the Jewelry by BDK Creator Zone too. So you can buzz over there and take a look at her pieces and I hope a lot of people that are creating uh, jewelry are getting ready for events to get out there. To, if, it's, if you've never done it before, get out there and test the waters. You know, it's a learning experience the very first time. It could be, <laughs> be shell-shocked, right? Or, you know, not ever want to do it again. Or you can get out there and be like, oh, my God, I love this. Oh, I love this. I loved it, too. The only part I didn't like was always, you know, packing up and... Packing, unpacking, packing, unpacking. And especially like when I first started, I had to have everything. You know how you go to those street. Oh, that was another place I used to sell at too. Um, Adams Avenue Street Fair. So Adams Avenue Street Fair was a really huge one every year too. I don't even know if they still do that one. Um, but I used to do that one. So I what I did was picked out when I when I did the smaller ones, I found that the smaller ones, the foot traffic, I learned about foot traffic. So if it's not heavy foot traffic, don't expect to make very much. It almost equals to whatever you pay for the vending space. So if you pay $50 for the vending space, chances are you might make double, you know, what you, what you pay or what you paid. So the more the vendor space costs, chances are you're going to make your money back double, triple, sometimes four times over, depending on how your, your merchandise is priced, Right. So uh, that's another thing, the Adams Avenue Street Fair. Um, what else was I doing? Oh, my God. They used to have something that was going on at the Navy base. I don't remember what that one was, but I used to do a couple of them, you know, and really, I liked it. I love that interaction with people. I love putting my um, collection out there at that time on display and, not, and money from your hand to mine. Okay, I love that. I thought that was the most amazing thing possible. That's why I kept doing it. Uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Wait, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm sure on this side, 8. And these are glass beads. Uh, so 12. And then you start for a couple more. 
just to make it nice enough, like maybe like a little uh, a choker. So we'll put another five on this side. And then we'll cap it on off. And then we got our pearl necklace. As simple as one, two, three. And a string of beads, right? Okay, we got five on that side. And I think that's about as long as I want to make it. Um, I know a couple people were telling me that too, that they actually work, uh, you know, that they work regular jobs and it'd be a little difficult, you know, to get to making their jewelry or even making the jewelry a part-time business or, you know, anything that has to do with what they're doing. And you know what I say to that? I work a full-time, full-time job too. And I probably will keep making, working a full-time job. Um, that's a little bit long. Let me check it. Hold on a second. Let me check it around my neck. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I, actually, I'm going to take a couple beads off because I want it to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to take two beads off. Um, and what I say to that is anytime you can give a company 40 hours a week and you not even give your own business two hours a week, you don't have a business. So the same grind, the same energy, the same involvement that you give to your job where they pay you a check and provide you with all those benefits should be the same energy that you pour into um, your jury making or whatever it is that you're doing and you want to make it a business. And this is the thing. It's easy to make it a business, right? It's easy to make it a business. Very easy. Once you do all your registering, you get your licenses, you get your um, whatever it is that you have to do, and then you have your product you start finding places to sell the jewelry. And I'm going to tell you guys this. One thing leads to another. You could start off making jewelry, but you will end up making purses like Miss Mona. Miss Mona is in the Facebook group. And when I tell you Miss Mona does some of everything, she does foot jewelry. She makes purses that got jewelry on it. I mean, she does some of everything. And it's like one something leads to another something. But if you never do something, how can you get to something? There's never going to be a shift. It's almost like when you're driving a stick shift. Um, when you're driving a stick shift, at some point, you have to shift. You have to change gears, right? And if you don't change gears, even going at a very low, low, low speed, you still have to shift. It is not going to stay in that speed. It's not going to stay in that gear. I don't care how slow you go. At some point, you still have to shift right? That's like a business. If you're wanting to make it a business, you got to shift. You got to go with the shifts. You got to put in the, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the energy. You got to make it happen. And I know I get a lot, I get a lot of emails where people are asking me that. I know it's a couple of ladies said that they are planning to retire soon. Um, and one lady said that she is retired and she's trying to figure out how to do her business because she's been working making jewelry and she sent me pictures when i say it is the most amazing jewelry you have ever seen in your life and i said oh my god i thought i was a bad chick but uh-uh darlene can't touch that woman's jewelry and i said oh my god it is absolutely amazing but she was saying i have no idea you know what to do so you have private customers you know like wh where she makes the jewelry and she sells it to them and that kind of stuff but no idea how to move to like next levels. Next levels for her might be going to a couple of shows, right? Or not even going to a couple of shows. It might start with the ladies at your church. It might start with the ladies at your organization. It might start with an email, uh, with an email uh, list. It might start with a newsletter. And in that newsletter, you have your jury inside the newsletter right? There are different ways. It might start on Facebook with a Facebook page. Uh, Miss Keisha, Keisha is the queen of Facebook lives. And she got videos on her YouTube channel too, where um, she's talking about how to do lives. So there are things that you can, and you absolutely must do if you are trying to go to a whole nother level in jewelry making. And I was going to say this, there are 7.763 billion people in the world. 50 plus states, right? There is no way any one of us don't have a market that we can sell to. Does it take work? It does take a little work. 
It takes a little work, but it can be done. And when you get your first loyal customer, life is absolutely ever more wonderful, <laughs> right? When you get your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth, that is the most amazing thing ever, but it does take a little work. It takes a little work. It takes some creativity. Sometimes you do have to step away and do other things. And, and, and that's okay. That's just life being life. We know how life is, you know, but don't forsake that that loves you. And that is your creativity. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll this up right here because I'm going to close it off. And it's a simple necklace, but it is to the point. Okay, then I'm going to turn this. And you guys know I generally would do my wire like so. And then I am going to wrap the wire. And then for me, for extra security, and I think it adds a little extra personality to the, the necklace when I wrap the wire downward. So I'm going to take the wire back up. And then I'm going to just finish it off up here. Go ahead and straighten this up. I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to roll it. Because I'm going to roll it right on into the open part. And then I want to push it down like so. And make sure you don't feel anything. So now you can see how I finished that off. I just like wrapping the wire around a couple of beads. It just it's more secure and I think it just looks nicer. And you can see how all the gold just makes it look a lot better. Okay. So I'm gonna take this side. Take the wire. I'm gonna wrap it. Take it down a couple of beads. A couple beads, and then we're gonna bring it back up. Wait a minute, and then we're gonna take it back up here, and then we're gonna wrap it. Let me straighten it up, wrap it around. end of it and then we'll curl it and open this up a little bit with my pliers that I open up that hole and I'm just take the end of the wire oops and just roll it Straighten this up. And let me put, um, I do have one of the bigger lobster clasps. So I'm going to put this on and I'm going to use a couple of the jump rings. I like to use two, ouch. I'm going to use two. I'm going to put that one here. Put that one here. And then we'll close it off. And then I'm going to take a second jump ring because I like to use two. And then we'll close that off. And I might not want to put... Um, Let's see on that part. So now we got that closed off. We got our pretty closure. We got our earrings already. And let's put this on here and see what we got. Yeah.
it's pretty. I still wanted it bulky. And, and that's okay, because I'm going to get into, like I said, I want to get into two-strand, three-strand necklaces. So I am going to start doing that. I'll be practicing off-camera with two and three strand. I can do two strand, but I want to do like three strand, you know, like really thick and bulky. So that's what I'm going to get into. <clears throat> and even like the bigger beads, like, um, well, bigger beads like this, because that would have looked even jazzy on there if I had two. But I only had this one, so I'm like, oh, okay, well, that ain't going to work. Well, you know what? It might have worked, right? I could have put that on there and really gave it a nice little uh, twisted personality. Could have did that. So I'm, I'm going to have to buy some big beads like that. I guess they were 20 millimeter or whatever they are. Because in one of the videos, I was saying that these beads, I think I was calling them 12 millimeter, but I think these are 20 millimeter. So um, this is what it came out looking like. Not bad. What y'all think? Okay. This is all y'all comments in this necklace right here. Okay. I like when you guys have some input. So I'm going to have to be doing a lot more bloopers because, uh, like I said earlier, it ain't going to come out pretty. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take something to lose once or twice and then, you know, have to redo it and some other little things. But I do like the way this looks. It's very simple. It is very elegant. Um, I like it and I would actually wear it. I really would. I would definitely wear this. Really pretty. Right? What you guys think? Let me know what you think. And the little pendant is just popping. Oh, and what I what I I want is pendants that have rhinestone or like a, you know really blinged out. So if you guys know where to buy some really pretty pendants that are like rhinestones, you know blinged out type something, that's what I want. So let me know if you know where to get some at. Let me know in the comment section. And to all our new subscribers, we thank you for being a part of our little community and space, creative space here. And um, come on to the front of the room. You are welcome to make comments. You are welcome to share your creations. Um, and if you're not a creator, that's okay too. Um, thanks for joining us and just feeling like the channel is worthy of your time. I, I appreciate that and I'm sure everybody else does too. Um, also, Jerry by BDK Creator Zone, you can buzz over there. Uh, join the group if you're not a part of the group enjoy uh, what those ladies are creating over there and they're a very active group of ladies over there and i appreciate them for that too i mean when i say active they're very active um they show what they're making what they're working on i mean beautiful beautiful pieces too so be sure to join the group and um also if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the bell that way you'll know, though, every time I upload a new video, if you enjoy watching the videos, okay? And um, this is the finished piece. And I like it. I'm really pleased with it. And I would even make a couple more of these uh, different pearl co colors of pearl, too. I would do that. But I'm digging it. Anyway, family, we'll talk soon.